Imagination, as J.K. Rowling once said, is the foundation of all invention and innovation. This phrase rings true in absolutely every idea that has led to the creation of something, from the wheel, to music, to travel, to engineering, to architecture, to art, to cuisine, and even to fashion. The process of wishing it, dreaming it, and doing it is always involved. Every artist, inventor, and musician creates, and their creations have always started with one tiny seedling of an idea which blossomed into a dream and eventually became a reality. An example of this process is one of the world's most famous authors, and personally one of my favorites, J.K. Rowling. This inspirational woman has become one of the most known people on our planet and has inspired so many young people to follow their dreams. But it wasn't always that way for her. Going back to 1990, a 25-year-old Joanne Rowling was sitting in a station cafe after her train had been delayed. Being a single mother, she had a hard life and had hit rock bottom after the breakup of her marriage. She couldn't even afford a typewriter or computer. But from there, she started rebuilding things. She abandoned the despair she had been clinging on to for months and did the one thing that she truly loved, writing. It was long and hard, but she had her mind set. She started writing the first novel of a future worldwide favorite, Harry Potter. However, there was one problem. Joanne had seen how differently girls were treated to boys, even after they were granted rights. So she went undercover as a man, using the initials of her, of her name. Joanne didn't have a middle name, so she decided to honor her deceased grandmother by putting a K in for Kathleen. Seven years later, she published the finished product, and within months, the book was already selling out in bookshops all around London. This motivational story is one that I think is a perfect example of wishing it, dreaming it, and doing it. Going further back in time, Leonardo da Vinci is another perfect example. Although he came from a relatively humble background, during the Renaissance, he became a painter, sculptor, draftsman, architect, engineer, and scientist even inventing a precursor to a robot. Having completed six major artworks, including his beautiful painting of The Last Supper, at the age of around 38, he started writing not only about the science of painting, but also his ideas about architecture, mechanics, and anatomy. And the unusual thing is that Leonardo's surviving manuscripts show that he wrote them in a reverse script that required a mirror to be read. Leonardo, Leonardo went on to work as a military architect and engineer and helped lay the groundwork for modern map making, while at about the same time he painted the Mona Lisa. Leonardo da Vinci, a multi-talented polymath, is extraordinary for his unlimited desire for knowledge, which guided all of his thinking and behavior. He is also a brilliant example of someone who wished it, dreamed it, and did it. The proof is there for everyone to see. And coming right up to the present, NASA has recently aimed and launched a rocket, hitting an asteroid a phenomenal 7 million miles away on the 26th of September 2022. This ambitious project to hopefully save humanity in the event of an Earth-threatening asteroid started with just a wish that turned into a dream and ended up being done. So you see, even if it seems impossible, Anyone who tries and puts their mind to it can wish it, dream it, and eventually do it.